How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another SSR Nasus video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the original god lead, so to speak. These were basically the first units with a mono lead. And as always, I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you do enjoy what you are seeing today and you are new, consider hitting that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get straight into it with STR Broly. His leader skill gives free key to STR types as well as a 3000 attack boost. So kind of different from what we currently have today. They still give the key, but of course they didn't give the stat boost that the current mono leads give. He does give a 3000 attack boost, but that honestly isn't that great in comparison to what we have today and i feel like the reason why we didn't use these mono leads back then is because rainbow things were just the things to run you know he had like multiple different units that did different things and it just worked together because he had like a op unit like gogeta as a lead and of course it's not to say that they were bad at the time like sdr broly when he was released was the best unit in the game and of course he was the first aoe as well making him one of the best units if not the best unit in the world tournament to just mow everything down in the world tournament but before he awakens he actually has the um, supreme damage modifier but as soon as he awakens Awakens, they gave him extreme. I believe they did this to not make him so OP, but now in comparison to like the way things are, him having supreme damage would have been massively useful, especially in the world tournament. His passive skill gives him a 7,000 attack boost when attacking, and then of course it reduces his defense to zero, so you're most likely not going to be tanking with this guy. Link skills, he has Hardened Garage, same Warrior Ray, Super Saiyan, the same lineage, Berserker, and Fierce Battle, so it definitely isn't his fault, but because he was released during a time where key links weren't that common, he didn't exactly get any. Of course, the physical Broly now has prepared for battle, which is something that this guy definitely would have benefited from, but then again, you wouldn't exactly be using him in your team because for one, there are better options, he doesn't link that well, and his main use as of now is just the World Tournament, which is a shame considering how he was the first, you know, transcended ultra rare. And he has crazy high stats, but maybe in the future he will make a comeback. If you didn't know, basically Bandai are supposedly experimenting with giving units like multiple passive skills or just making the passes work in a different way, which I'm excited to see and hopefully they do something to some of these units as it would obviously make them way more usable. But overall thoughts on Broly, he is a good unit for the World Tournament and he works well with the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku lead. But let's move on to the physical full power freezer and he now has one of the best partnerships in the game if not the best partnership in the game with final form cooler he is obviously the um, physical lead and he gives three key to physical types and a 3000 attack boost so again the same leader skill as broly but he only gives the key to physical types he causes immense damage and he was one of the very first units in the game to have immense damage the first was gogeta depending on the version they released gogeta first on jp but they released full power freezer first on global so it depends on what version you're going by he gets a one 120% attack boost when performing a super attack. His links are prodigies, universe is most malevolent, nightmare, strongest clan in space, big bad bosses, over in a flash, and fierce battles. So one of the reasons why he has the best partnership in the game with Final Form Cooler comes down to the fact that he can hit extremely hard, and of course he has a great link set. He has links like universe is most malevolent, nightmare, strongest clan in space, big bad bosses, fierce battle, over in a flash isn't too common on an extreme villain team, so that link is pretty much irrelevant, but the fact that you're most likely going to be keeping them together the majority of the time makes up for that. And when the two are together and the big bad boss's link is active he is going to be able to tank as well but to be honest it's nice to see that he has come back into the game because before he was kind of falling off he didn't exactly make his way into a villain team just because of how awkward it was to implement him especially on a double merge and marcy lead but now that the extreme physical lead is out and it just so happens to be cooler he is now relevant again which again is great because he is one of the oldest units in the game and the fact that he is now relevant again thanks to cooler gives me hope that maybe some of the other units in this list will make a comeback let's move on to in ultimate gohan his leader skill gives free key to in types as well as a 3000 attack boost he causes supreme damage and he also raises his own attack with his super attack mechanic i will be going over that in a few moments he gets a 10,000 attack boost when key is seven or more as well as five key and if we have a look at his links he has saiyan Mario race in fighter shocking speed power bestowed by god and fierce battle so if you haven't seen it already i did an analysis video on all the ultimate gohans and the physical one did come out the best just because of how uh, much harder he hits than the in type the in type does eventually out damage him um because of how his super attack mechanic works but the thing about the events these days is that with the way that the teams are you're most likely not going to um you know be spending too much time on these events unless your team isn't that great so granted the in type is probably better now but at the time of the video's release the physical type was better but the thing about gohan is that he's actually a very good unit and he'll fit perfectly on a mono int team it's just that there are better options and there really is no reason for you to run this gohan for example you have super saiyan rage trunks you have super saiyan blue vegeta you have in super saiyan god goku but to be fair, Ultimate Gohan is probably better than that Goku for the time being. And then of course you have units like Turles, you have Janemba, Buhan of course, Android 13. And if you're lucky enough, you also have LR Gohan. 
But the point is, on an optimal team, he just doesn't really fit that well. However, if you don't have an optimal team, of course you are going to be using Gohan. He's a great unit. He fits really well on a mono in team. Just because there are better options doesn't mean you can't use him. But in comparison to some of the others, he has kind of fallen off. But who knows, maybe he will make a comeback like Full Power Freezer. Let's move on to the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I am going to say this straight away, but he is easily one of the most underrated units in the game, and I will be going over why in a few moments. His leader skill gives three key to agility types, as well as a 3000 attack boost. He causes supreme damage and lowers defense. He gets a 100% attack boost for 7 turns. His links are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Ray, Super Saiyan, Over in the Flash, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. So he's very similar to Super Saiyan Blue Kai Ken in the sense that people don't like him because of his restriction. But people don't tend to realize how good he actually is at super attack 10 and when he is on a double super save for vegeta lead the boost that he gets from both leads and of course his own passive skill is so great and keep in mind that these five units are ones that benefit the most from the ability system so when you invest orbs into him and you have him on that agility team he can easily hit for around 600 to 800k depending on your setup and if you have a team that's capable of blitzing through the event, it's definitely possible to keep his passive active. And like I said before, if they are going to add multiple passive skills, or change the way that the current ones work, he will definitely be making a comeback. Moving on to the last unit, we have Tech Perfect Cell. His leader skill gets free key to tech types as well as a 3000 attack boost. He causes supreme damage. He gets a 12% attack and defensive boost per orb obtained. And if we have a look at his links, he has Revival, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Attack of the Clones, Ultimate Life Form, and Fierce Battle. So there was a period where Cell was actually really good because of how much he benefited from the ability system. With several ability system buffs, and with him collecting enough orbs, he could actually hit relatively hard, and he could also tank hits. If he was released today, he would have most likely had the Shocking Speed link, maybe even Fear and Faith, Nightmare, all those top tier villain links. But now that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is here, I highly doubt that he is going to be appearing on your team anytime soon. He could definitely appear on Extreme Tech because there are very few Extreme Tech type units. But to be fair, he does have some very high stats. And if you utilize those stats when the Extreme Type League comes out, he could be a solid choice for your team. But moving on to the final part of the video. In last place, we have Broly. He just suffers from the lack of any good links. And his main use at the moment is the World Tournament. In fourth place, we have Tech Perfect Cell. He again suffers from the lack of any good links, but he definitely does have potential for the future. In third place, we have In Ultima Gohan. He has a great link set. He hits relatively hard. He just isn't as good as the other two options. In second place, we have the Agility Super. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Despite his restriction, he is still a great unit, and I honestly hope that this new update makes him much better. But of course, in first place, we have the physical full power freezer. He has no restriction on his passive, he has immense damage, he has a pretty good link set for the team that he is currently in, and he has the best partnership in the game of Final Form Cooler. But that is it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Do you agree with what I said in this video? Let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.